What's up YouTube? Have you ever wondered how to create stamp brushes in Procreate on your iPad? Well, that's what we're here to talk about today. Welcome back, my name is Ben Nielsen. I'm a media design educator, and today we're talking all about creating stamp brushes in Procreate on your iPad. So stamp brushes are a brush where you basically, instead of drawing a stroke, you just tap the screen to lay down a stamp. And this is really useful in certain circumstances, especially something like map making, particularly fantasy map making. So if you wanna create a map, something that you might find like in J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings, you might want to be able to do mountains over and over again. You might want to be able to do forests just by laying down a lot of the same tree to just give an area of the map a feel. So stamp brushes, really, really useful, and we can learn how to create them really easily in Procreate. And this video happens to be part of my full course, Intro to Procreate Brush Making, Creating the Fantasy Map, in which we learn not only stamp brushes, but also pattern brushes and outline brushes to really create a full map set. If you want to check out the full course, you can do that down in the description of this video. It's available on Skillshare and on Gumroad. And if you get it on Gumroad, you can use the code YT15 to get it for just $15. But let's go ahead and dive in and learn how to create stamp brushes, but stay tuned till the end of the video for another special offer. So let's go to our brushes. For this, I want a nice clean line. So let's try Baskerville for now. And generally you wanna be doing this in black. So make sure that your color is set to black. Now I can see that mine is not quite set to black. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drag my B all the way down. I'm on the value setting and my saturation all the way down so that I'm getting a real black here because that's best when you're actually going to create the brush. So I wanna go ahead and make a tree. It's best if you have done some sketching ahead of time and you've kind of figured out what you want your stamp to look like before you get here into procreate so I know that I want my tree to kind of look like a standard tree here and you don't want too much detail in this because remember it's going to be part of a map it's going to be small it just needs to be iconic So that's just a little tree that I've drawn out there. Your tree can look like anything. It can be a deciduous tree or it can be an evergreen tree. There's lots of different options there. But basically you want to make this icon here. Then we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to copy this so that we can make a brush out of it. So going up to your wrench, you're going to go to your add button and then down to your copy canvas menu item. Click copy canvas. From there, that's now copied to the canvas and we can go make a brush with it. So going into our brushes, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a new section. So scroll all the way up to the top and hit the plus. And I'm going to call this one map class and put that away. And now I want to make a new brush in map class. So I'm going to hit plus again. And the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and set my shape. So on the left hand side of the brush studio, there are lots of options here. Remember, we are not going into all of them. There are so many different things you can do here. We're just going to learn the basics. But I want to set my shape. So coming to the shape, you can see that it always starts out with a round brush that so just uses a circle. And then on the same line as shape source, we're going to hit edit. Now we want to import our shape. So we're going to click import and we're going to choose paste because that's why we copied it. So there's our tree and it's really important that we then tap with two fingers which is normally undo but here it's invert so tap with two fingers and now that's inverted. Then click done. So you can see over on the drawing pad you can see that it still wants to draw a line here and put all of those trees together and that is not what we want. So we need to go ahead and change this so that it's basically a stamp. Let's go over here to stroke path and we're going to take our spacing all the way up. So you can see that each one is happening individually there. Then we want to go down to Apple Pencil and we want to take our opacity all the way down so that we aren't handling any opacity with the pressure of our Apple Pencil. We just want to be able to tap on the screen and get a tree. We want to name this brush. So let's go to our About This Brush section and come up here to where it says Untitled Brush and we will call this one Basic Tree. Okay, so now we have a basic tree brush. So let's go to our layers and we will uncheck this layer one so that we can't see that anymore. And we'll make a new layer that we can draw on with our new brush. We have basic tree. And every place that I tap, I will get a tree. All right, I hope you enjoyed learning how to create stamp brushes in Procreate on your iPad in order to create your own fantasy maps. Now, this was just a quick introduction. In the full course, we actually do several more stamp brushes and we also do pattern brushes and outline brushes, which help you to create an even more rich environment 
in your maps. So remember, you can take that full course by clicking the link in the description below. You can take it on Skillshare or you can take it on Gumroad. If you choose to take it on Gumroad, make sure that you use the promo code YT15 to get it for just $15. Also over on Gumroad, I have a special offer for you, which is that I created this entire Procreate brush set for this class and I'm giving it to you for free. So if you go over to Gumroad, you can get this whole map set for free. I hope you've enjoyed learning about this. We'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.